manipulating data is an integral part of any web application. Now JavaScript provides different ways for parsing and extracting data. The JavaScript substring substr and slice methods are used for extracting strings from a larger one. Hi everyone, this is Shantani from Edureka and in today's session we will see what is JavaScript substring and how it is used. Now before we begin the session, let's have a look at today's agenda. So first of all, we will have a brief discussion about what is a substring actually. And then we will move on and see how JavaScript substrings are used or how it actually works. Then moving on, we will have a look at how you can use the substring with the help of the length property. And then finally, we will see the differences between substring, substr and the slice method. Now before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to Edureka's YouTube channel to stay connected. Now to begin with, what is a substring? So a substring is basically a subset of another string. Now this is a contiguous sequence of characters within a string. So talking about substring, it needs to appear together or adjacent to each other in your actual or original string. For example, welcome to Edureka will be considered as a substring for the string welcome to Edureka online courses. But for the same thing, if you write Edureka courses, it would not be considered as a substring as it is a subsequence or the generalization of the string. So the words or the characters needs to be adjacent and also needs to be placed together in the original string. Now moving on, what is a JavaScript substring? So before that, let's see how we are supposed to write a JavaScript substring. Now the syntax for the JavaScript substring is like you have to write your string, then dot and add your substring here. The parameters included in your substring are the first one would be your index a and then you have another parameter which is optional here. So let me name this as index b. Now what are these index a and index b? So the index a is your starting index. It will consist of any integer between 0 and 1 less than the length of the string and your index b is the ending index. So this will consist of the integer between 0 and the length of the string. This one is actually optional. Now the substring is actually an inbuilt function in JavaScript which returns a part of the given string from your start index to the end index. The indexing value starts from 0 always. It is also used to return a portion of the string starting at the specified index and also extending for a given number of characters afterwards. Now this substring method returns the new substring based on all these given parameters that we pass through this index a and index b. So now here I have an example already written for the substring. Now you can see that I have this HTML code here where I have inserted a title as JavaScript string substring method. Now my string says welcome to Edureka JavaScript training. Now let's see how substring actually works. So here I have inserted three different values as my start index and as my end index. Now the first one starts at 3 and ends at 7. And the second one starts at 0 that is from the first place itself and then ends at 10. And for the final one I have only given the start index and no end index. So you know that the end index is optional when you don't provide any end index it takes till the end of your original string. So now once I save this and go to the output of this. So here you can see that for the value 3 to 7 we have the output as come and for 0 to 10 we have welcome to and for 11 we have edureka javascript training. Now going back to the example you can see that the w starts at 0 then we have e at 1 l at 2 and c at 3. So the start index is 3 and so the first value would be C here and we continue up to the seventh place. We do not consider the seventh place here, but we take everything from 3, 4, 5 and 6. So for that the alphabets come as C O M E and that is what we have got the output for the value 3 to 7 for our start and end index. Now talking about the next one we have 0 to 10. It starts from 0 that is the first letter of the string itself. So now if I count the numbers, so we have 0 as w then we have e 1 
then we have 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 now your 10th position ends here after your 2 so the output that we have got is welcome to because these are the characters from 0 to 10 now for the final one we have the start index as 11 but we have not specified any end index so it starts from the e of edureka and then we do not have any end index so it will go on till the end that is edureka javascript training and that is exactly what we have got as our output so for 3 to 7 we have come for 0 to 10 welcome to and for 11 and till the end index we have edureka javascript training so now that you know what is the substring in javascript and also how you can write the substring along with the syntax and an example Let's move on and see how you can use the substring with the length property in JavaScript. Now, let me take another example. So, here I have a variable as any string and I add the value of the string as edureka. So, now when I use the length property, it actually provides me the length of my string. So, you can see that for edureka, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7 characters here. So when I use the length property here, it will give me the value as 7 that is it will provide me with the length of my string here. Now the substring method and the length property are used together to extract the last characters of your particular string. Now this method is actually easier to remember as you do not need to know the starting and ending indices. For every other example, you had to count the starting or the ending or whatever string you wanted to pass and you need to know the exact number for that. But here you don't need to know the exact number for your starting and ending index. So let's see how these two work together. So for this, let me just take another variable and name it as any string one. So what I'll do is I'll take my first string here that I have named as any string and then use the substring syntax so I have my first string that is any string dot substring and here I'll pass the parameter but here I do not have to pass any starting or ending index because for this I can use the length property now to use the length property I'll take the name of my first string that is any string dot length this is how we use the length property in our JavaScript and now I just have to specify any length here. So for example, I'm specifying the length to be 5. Now what happens here is that it'll take the last position and from the last position it will take 5 characters. So you can see that if I count from A, I have A, K, R, U. That is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And only these 5 characters will be shown in my output. So here we do not have any sort of starting index or ending index. We just have to provide the length and it will always begin from the end of your string and it will consider those number of characters from the end of your string. So now let me just display the output for my any string one. So I'll take console.log any string one. Now for this I already have the HTML file created here. And I have used the source for my example.js here. So I just have to save this. Now, when I run the index2.html and go to the console of this, so all I have to do is just go to inspect and then go to console. Now you can see that the output is ureka, that is only the five characters from the end. So now, in this case, if I change the value to three and now again save it. And now go back to the website and check the output. Now you can see that the output is EKA. So this is an easier method of using the length property here. All you have to do is just take the length and put any value and it will give you the output of those particular number of characters from the end. Remember that while you're using the length property, it always checks from the end of the string. So this is how you can use the substring along with the length property in JavaScript. Now moving on next up is the substring versus sub str versus slice. Now all of these methods are actually used to extract parts of a string and return the extracted parts in a new string and all of these do not change the original string. That's exactly where the confusion comes in that how are these things different. So let's see that what actually differentiates the three methods in JavaScript. 
So talking about the substring method it actually returns part of the string between your start index and end index. It also excludes the end index character or up to the end of the string. So basically the example that I showed you in the beginning for a substring defines this where you have a starting index and an ending index and also the end index is optional. When you don't provide the end index you get the entire string till the end or from the starting index till the end of your string if you have not specified any value for the end. Now moving on to the sub str method. So this returns part of the string starting from an index and the number of characters after the start index. So here we have two different parameters such as the start index and then we have the length. For substring we have our start and end index but in case of sub str we have a start index and also a length. And finally we have the slice method. Now this is very similar to the substring. It also returns a partial string between your start index and end index and it excludes end index character or up to the end of the string if end index is not provided. So let's have a look at the examples for these three methods we use in JavaScript for extracting a part of the original string. Now talking about the substring I've already showed you an example but let's see this again. So for example I have a string as edureka javascript. Now what I have to do is take my string that is any string dot substring and pass the parameters inside this particular method. So for example I'm taking the value as 0 comma 7 that is my start index is 0 and my end index is 7. So here I have to define another variable that would be my substring equals to any string and use the substring method and here I'll pass the parameters as 0 and 7. So I have taken my starting index to be 0 and my ending index as 7 here. So it should take the values from 0 to 7 and give me the output that will only give me this particular characters from my original string. Now I have to do is console.log and then I want to get the substring here. So I'll change it to substring. So now I'll save this. So this example should provide me the values from my original string that is edureka javascript and provide me the substring which starts from the zero index and ends at seven. So now when I go back to my console you can see that the output here is edureka. So I have one two three four five six seven characters here because my starting index was zero and ending was seven. So the output here is edureka. Now this was about the substring method. Next up we will see how the sub str method works. Now for the sub str what happens is that it's similar to the substring but here in place of the end index we have the length. So whatever we specify in our second parameter is considered to be the length. So let me just change this to sub str and here I'm changing the method as well because we are checking for sub str method. And let me also change the length to 10. And I'll just change this to sub str for my console.log and now save this. Now, when I go back to my console and check this, so you can see that it started with the zeroth index, so it started from e itself, but the next property was not your end index, but instead it was just the length that would be passed. So your substring length would be 10. So you can see that the output is edureka space ja which sums up to the length of your substring as 10. So even this method is used to take up a part from your original string but only the parameters differ here. For the sub str you only have a start index and you have the length property here. Now moving on to the next one we have the slice method. Now slice and substring does kind of the same work. So let's see how slice works here. So I have changed the name to where slice and then I will take the slice method here. So let's just change the values. Let me just take the start index as 8 and the end index as 12. Remember that even for the slice method your end index is optional. If you don't provide the end index it will take till the end of your original string. So now let me change this as well. So I have console.log and then I have slice inside this. So let me save this now. 
and let's go back to the console and see what is the output here. So you can see that even this one is used to extract a part of your string. So here I have Java as my output because the value that I had given was from 8 to 12. So from the 8th position, I have the word as J A V A. So my starting value was from the 8th position and it ended at 12th. So even this does the same work where it will just slice up a part of your original string and provide you the value. So now you know that all of these three methods that is substring sub str and the slice method are all used to find out a particular part of your original string. Now your values must be contagious or placed together or adjacent to each other. You cannot have a substring where it's from the different parts of your original string. So if you just want to extract a bit of your original string, you can any day use any of these three methods. Now with this we have come to the end of our session today and I hope you have understood what is the substring method in JavaScript and how you can use it in different ways. Also I hope you understood how these three different methods are used to extract any particular part from your original string. So that's all for today's session. Don't forget to let us know about your opinion in the comment section below. Till then thank you and happy learning. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!